This video is just an introduction to calculus, so just basic differentiation. In this question, we're asked to differentiate the following with respect to x. We're given the function f of x is equal to x squared, and we want to differentiate it. When we are differentiating, we bring the power down in front, and then we reduce the power by 1. So in this case, the power is a 2. So we bring the power down in front, and we get 2x, and we reduce the power by 1. 2 take away 1 is 1, and 2x to the power of 1 is just 2x. In our next example, we have y equals x cubed. So again, we're going to bring down the power in front, so we end up with 3x, and we're going to reduce the power by 1, so 3 take away 1 is 2. So the derivative of x cubed is going to be 3x squared. In our next example, we have y equals x to the power of 4. Again, we bring down the power in front and reduce the power by 1. So we bring down the power in front, we get 4x, and 4 take away 1 is 3. So the derivative is going to be 4x cubed. In our next example, we have the function equaling x to the power of 5. Again, we bring down the power in front, so we end up with 5x, and we reduce the power by 1. 5 take away 1 is 4. So the derivative is going to be 5x to the power of 4. In this example, we have f of x is equal to 2x. So the derivative of that is going to be 2. Whenever we have any number with just an x stuck on, we literally just have to cross off the x. But why do we do that? So if we have a look at y to the power of 3x, we know that 3x is really 3x to the power of 1. And we follow the same rules as before. We bring down the power in front and we reduce the power by 1. If I bring a 1 down in front of that 3, it's not going to become 13. It's going to be 1 multiplied by 3, which will still just give me 3. If I reduce that power by 1, 1 take away 1 is going to be 0. Anything to the power of 0 is going to give me 1. So x to the power of 0 will give me 1. That will not give me 31. It will give me 3 multiplied by 1. And 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. So any time that we have a number stuck onto an x, we can just cross off the x if we are differentiating with respect to x. So if the function is y equals 4x, then the derivative is just going to be 4. What we did there was we just cancelled out the x. If the function is y equals minus 8x, then the derivative is going to be minus 8. Again, we just cancelled out the x. But it is important to understand the reason why this happens. So any letter on its own is really to the power of 1. Any variable on its own is really to the power of 1. So 3x is really 3x to the power of 1. We bring down the power in front, so it's going to be 1 multiplied by 3, which is 3. And we reduce the power by 1. 1 take away 1 will be 0. x to the power of 0 gives me 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. And since the 3 and the x to the power of 0 were stuck together, it means 3 multiplied by 1. And 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. In this question, we are given f of x is equal to 4. And the derivative of that is going to be 0. The reason for that is we are asked to differentiate with respect to x. 4 doesn't have an x, so we can't differentiate it. It's not possible. So we just end up getting 0. So if the function is 5, then the derivative is going to be 0. If the function is 8, then the derivative is going to be 0, and so on. Constants, which are numbers with no variables attached, just become 0 or cancel out. In this question, we are given f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 5. So again, we apply the rule that we bring down the power in front and reduce the power by 1. Bringing the 2 down in front gives us 2x. And reducing the power by 1, 2 take away 1 is going to be 1. So 2x to the power of 1 is just going to be 2x. Next, we have minus 2x. And we know that we can just cancel out the x when we have x to the power of 1 or x on its own. So we're going to have minus 2. And then we have plus 5 on the end, which is a constant. So that just cancels out and we don't have anything. So the derivative of x squared minus 2x plus 5 is going to be 2x minus 2. In our next example, we have the function to be x squared plus 7x plus 9. 
And again, we're going to bring down the power in front, so that's going to give us a 2x. And we're going to reduce the power by 1. 2 take away 1 is 1, so 2x to the power 1, or just 2x. Next, we have plus 7x, so we can just cancel out the x, and we're left with plus 7. And then we have a 9, and that will give us 0, or we can just cancel it out. So the derivative of x squared plus 7x plus 9 is going to be 2x plus 7. In our next example, we have y equals x cubed plus 4x squared plus 2x. Again, we bring down the power in front. So the 3 comes down in front of the x, giving us 3x. And we reduce the power by 1. 3 take away 1 is 2, so we get 3x squared. Next, we have 4x squared. We bring down the power in front. This does not become 24. It becomes 2 multiplied by 4, which gives us 8. Next, we have x squared. So we're going to take away a 1 from the 2. We're going to reduce the power by 1. And 2 take away 1 is 1, which is just going to be 8x. So 8x to the power of 1, or 8x. Next, we have 2x, so we can just cross off the x, and we're left with 2. So the derivative of x cubed plus 4x squared plus 2x is going to be 3x squared plus 8x plus 2. In our next function, we have 4x to the power of 5 minus 3x squared plus 8. Again, we bring down the power in front. This does not give us 54. It gives us 5 multiplied by 4, which is 20. And then x to the power of 5, we're going to reduce the power by 1. 5 take away 1 is 4. So it's going to be 20x to the power of 4. Next, we have minus 3x squared. We bring down the power in front, and it becomes minus 3 multiplied by 2, which is going to be minus 6. And then x squared, we're going to reduce the power by 1. 2 take away 1 is 1. So we get minus 6x to the power of 1, or just minus 6x. Then we have 8, which is a constant, so we just cancel that out. So the derivative of 4x to the power of 5 minus 3x squared plus 8 is going to be 20x to the power of 4 minus 6x.